Hey everyone, my name is Bill Hudson. I'm the guitarist, songwriter, and founder of North Tail. If I had to talk about the beginning of the band, it would have to be traced back all the way to the idea of my instrumental solo album, which is something I had worked on for a couple years. The idea was to have, you know, nine or ten instrumental songs and two or three vocal songs. The singer I wanted for those vocal songs was Christian Eriksson, who at the time was a member of Twilight Force. Um, I wrote him uh, online and explained what I was looking for. And even though he was into it, he never, he never actually recorded. He sent me a message back uh, with some feedback telling me what he thought of the songs, he liked it, but ultimately he was busy with Twilight Force. And uh, me on my end, I was very busy myself touring with, at the time, Dirk Schneider, I Am Morbid and doing all kinds of different things. So I kind of put it in the back burner myself. Until a few months later, when I went to Falun, Sweden, to play the Sabaton Open Air Festival, and Christian happened to be there as well. Uh, we started talking, he drove me around the city a little bit, I got to know him a little better, and you know, I thought to myself, damn, not only is this guy super cool, but he's, you know, also an amazing singer, so, you know, I... I, I I would hope that sometime in the future we'd be able to do something. Which leads us to uh, the third part of the story, which is when actually Christian was out of the band. I had recently left my former band and I felt that I, I was done with music. I, I didn't want to continue with touring and, and recording on, on that level anymore. Bill and Patrick, they called me independent from each other and, and they said pretty much the same thing. Something like, when you're ready again, let's do this. And at first I thought, hell no, I don't want to do it, I'm done. He didn't really get back to me right away. It took him a couple weeks to do it. I gave it, gave it some thoughts and, and um, I came to that conclusion that if I can do an album that when I'm 85, I can take it down from the shelf and I can look at it and be proud of it. Then it's all worth it. So I started to think about that and, um, and then more and more it grew on me and uh, we started talking more and more and, and, and then we needed, we needed more members. Now I knew Patrick's work with Yngwie Malmsteen, of course. I knew his work with Wasp. And I had already jammed with him and at the NAMM show in California. We played a couple songs together a couple times and we always talked about doing something together. We also had a lot of mutual friends. We also, you know, we always loosely talk about it and we said, you know, one day it would be cool to write some songs together, but we never did anything about it. I, I called uh, Michael, my former classmate, and uh, I said, hey, you want to be in a power metal band? And, and he didn't, did, didn't take long until he, he was all in on this. Christian, you know, had Michael, which fit in every way. He had the same influences. He, he is a professional. He is, he is an orchestrator. All the orchestrations on the record were done by him. And it just seemed like the right fit. You know, we didn't even need to audition or anything. We're just like, okay, that's our guy. Bill contacted Jimmy Pitts because he, he had been playing with him before. Jimmy Pitts had already helped me with a lot of the demos at the beginning. I had, you know, keyboard ideas or whatever, and I would tell him, hey, why don't you play this, why don't you play that? Um, instead of trying to program it myself, which I do a lot of the time, but it's a big difference to work with a keyboard player. And since Jimmy and I had already done that, and even prior to that, we were both part of the Vitali Capri band. For those who don't know, Vitali is one of the most praised 
piano virtuosos in the world. From he's from Ukraine. He worked with me in the Trans Siberian Orchestra, but he also has worked in the past with Ring of Fire, Artension, and many other metal bands. And Jimmy and I found ourselves as part of his band a couple years ago, and that's how we met. So Jimmy was the obvious choice for the keyboard too. Everything kind of came together very naturally. We didn't. There was never any pressure to find anyone or to do anything, and I'm really happy with the result, and I'm really happy that we're here. All of a sudden, we were a band, and uh, we needed a name, so we thought, let's, since we since we had already pretty much a fan base, uh, with with just us going out saying we're a band, we we created a little contest of name the band contest and and uh, we ended up with a with a band named North Tail. So that's pretty much the foundation of of us.